making the effort to be here today. Obviously, there's a lot of people that make it for a lot of reasons, but uh, it was no easy task for you guys to be here, so thank you for coming out. It was a fun day. Um, I'd like to start just by thanking, our, thanking some people. Kids, we obviously need to give a big thanks to uh, our parents here, um, in large part uh, dating way back to before we even became the Futures team. Some of your parents have been big time supporters of H Street Sports and Northwest Futures. Uh, they help you guys, give you opportunities to grow in life on and off the field, which will shape you as you get older. So I think we owe our parents a big round of applause and a big thank you. Uh, I also would like to thank these two gentlemen next to me. John and Matt both worked uh, tirelessly for me. And uh, we have a great vision for Northwest Futures. There'll be more pieces coming, more things added as we keep growing. And there is no way that it could be what it would be without without these guys. Uh, Matt has been moved around the country from Chicago. Some of you guys know he was working uh, with Wilson and then joined up with me full time with uh, the Northwest Sports Management Group Agency and with the Futures. So uh, I'm able to do a lot more, thankfully, with the, the ideas that I started with about seven years ago with this help now. It's a big part of what we're doing. Uh, and John, most of you guys know he's in school right now. Uh, during the school year, he's you guys see how hard he works. So, kids, parents, please give them a huge round of applause. So moving on to our awards, we sat down as a staff and decided on three awards for the entire group. So unfortunately, there's a lot of kids not walking out here with anything today. Um, I can tell you guys that the standards that we set for our program uh, were, were met beyond expectation. Uh, we never had a single child or parent to where we just felt like, you know what, they need to go because they're creating issues. And for us to say that when we're working with almost 60 to 70 children is, uh, is, I think, pretty impressive. And I know we work very hard to communicate with not only you kids but your parents, uh, but that's a two-way street. So uh, I really appreciate uh, the three kids that are going to be uh, recognized today, but that doesn't go without mentioning a lot of you kids that are here today and some of your friends that couldn't make it. Uh, that have done a wonderful job for us in the spring, and we know we'll continue to see that uh, in the fall and beyond. So uh, please, all of you guys, being a part of this future program, have absolutely met our standards, and that says a lot, because uh, we set some pretty high standards, as you guys know, and there's a reason for that. So we appreciate you guys and all the work that we do. Um, our first award is going to be given to what we decided was going to be called our, our Northwest Futures Captain. As you know, each team had a captain uh, through the year, and uh, sat down as a staff and really, you know, talked about what it means to be a captain and what it means to be a leader. And a lot of times, uh, it's, it's hard to become that. Some people are just innately more leaders than others, and that's okay. Um, but the gentleman that we're recognizing today uh, is someone who, uh, I think, in my opinion, has some of the biggest guts and heart that, that you can have to play on a baseball field. Uh, he believes in himself. He works tirelessly in his trade. He has a long ways to go, and he'd be the first to admit it. But he's not afraid to do some difficult things, which is to maybe call out a teammate when they're out of line or help direct the teammate. Never done it condescendingly, so he's positive. Uh, he's, uh, I, think, I think Matt and John and I, we, we do agree. Uh, we're not sure if, if there's a tougher kid, if we're going down a dark alley, you'd want this kid next to you. So uh, moving forward, we're excited to see how he grows. But we gave him a, uh, a bat that's uh, it's got his name engraved. And it says Northwest Futures 2014, and it belongs to Dane Barrow, who's not here today. So Dane earned this back. If you guys want to take a look, you're welcome to pass it around. But that definitely was, was well earned by Dane Barrow. So we miss having him here. We're videoing it. We'll send it to him. So Dane, you're missed, buddy. Congratulations. Uh, our second award goes to uh, a gentleman uh, who we, we're calling the Northwest Future Silver Slugger. So this goes to uh, a, a child in our program who uh, put together productive at-bats, and I would say just about every time he stepped into the box. And if you played the game of baseball, as you kids know, sometimes you hop in the box and you just check out, and you're out before you even know you stepped in. So it's very difficult to always get in that batter's box with a peace of mind and a focus. Uh, and I would say that I, you know, I mean, I couldn't put a number on it, but it, what feels like almost over 90% of the time, this young man gave us productive at bats. Obviously, it showed in his numbers and his ability to hit. Um, it goes without saying that he's uh, a 
tremendous player, has a very, very bright future, uh, has been with me, I think since he's about nine or ten years old. So Jake Biesterfeld, very proud to have you as our club. so much and uh, again parents kids all you guys we really appreciate the long the long hard work that went into this season and uh, you know we have the fall coming around the corner take a break get back into H3 when you're ready and we'll be ready to add some new additions and some new things for next year we're excited to have you guys back so thanks again hey redshirt in the front give me a smile oh! <laughs> 